excited to be here with my friend Abby in third grade. Say hi. Hi. All right, Abby, what are we drawing today? A person. This is, I'm so happy that Abby uh, is having us do this because uh, I know a lot of you try to draw people and uh, this is really gonna help you out. Mm -hmm. Picture, so I'm gonna start out by making the head. That's how I start. Very nice. So um, I, we're gonna add hair later, but right now I'm just gonna make the shape of the head. And we can make different shapes. All right. That's perfect. That's the wonderful thing about drawing people is there's so many oh, different shoot. styles. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> uh, when I draw a person's head, I kind of make like an upside down egg and that kind of helps me make an guys. egg. I make more of a bad. square. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of um, like pixel art a little yeah. bit when you do the more square ones. All right, after I make the head, I like to add the neck. So the neck is just gonna be two little lines, a line here and a line here. That's what I do. <laughs> Perfect. And then I'm going to start to make the shoulders. So I'm gonna make a line that comes out here and here. That's not what I do. No, it's not. I just go do straight do down. Okay, that works too. I guess I like to have some space for the arms, so that's why I do it that way. Oh, but that, there's make, like, lots of different ways to do it. So um, after I make my shoulders come out, I kind of uh, make a line down here. And it's about like two heads worth of space down, I would mm -hmm. say. It's kind of helpful. That's why I like to draw the head first is it kind of gives you like an that. amount of space to make everything else as you go. So like how I draw my shirt is when I do the neck, mm -hmm. I pull down and just start making sleeves. That's awesome. That's absolutely another way to do it. There's and so many ways to draw people. I also people. have like the start of pants right here, so. Oh, smart. Yeah, so I made a line down here and then I have a line here and here. So it's kind of like a U shape with a flat bottom on it. And then I'm gonna make the arms too. So we looked at this little guy and positioned him a little bit. Yeah. So his arms are kind of gonna be like two rectangles because there's this bend where the elbow is. So I'm gonna make a rectangle shape that comes out to here, oh but I'm not gonna gosh. put a cap on it. I don't know if it. I'm gonna be able to make a rectangle shape. That's totally good. You ha kind of have your own different style rectangles coming out of the side. I'm just showing, showing so you guys can see uh, how I'm doing this shape, but I like yours and too. I do the arms like little pencil toppers. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, drawing hands is, we could make a whole nother video about that, right Abby? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing my uh, my two rectangles over here too. Yours looks super good. And I really like yours too. Mm -hmm. Um, and then to make the hands for this one, I'm just going to put opals on the end. It's going to be a little, a little yeah. slow, but that's okay. All right. I start doing the pants next. Lovely. Okay. Now I'm going to, um, it's kind of have one the line. same way, but just a little bit different. Yeah, so true. I make them kind of the way I make the arms, almost, <laughs> like with the double rectangles coming out. So, um, here's my one rectangle. And then here's gonna be my other one. So it kind of looks like he's sticking his legs out a little bit. He looks awesome, my dear. And then um, you'll notice there's this little bend here too where the knees are. So I always like to kind of show that as well. Yeah. And then um, I'll make my two lines that run parallel so they're even with each other that come down. I'm not like gonna draw like exactly what she looks like. I'm drawing like a little bit different. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's a cool thing about drawing people. There's so many different poses that you can try. Yeah. Last thing I'm gonna add is the little uh, little feet that stick out. So that's just gonna be an oval shape over here and an oval shape over here. I'm not even copying her. No, that's totally fine. I love yours, my dear. Uh, shall we move on to the hair? Yeah. Um, so we're both going to do different hairstyles. Abby has a fun one picked out, and I'm going to have the hair kind of be like bangs at the top, and then I'm going to curl lines down. So I'm just having little lines that sweep out to the sides. 
Oh, they have lines here. No. Ooh, I like your pigtail. Yeah, but I'm not really good at it yet. It looks awesome. I'm gonna give my person a face too, so I'm gonna give them a oh little. No, I should have done the face first. I always like to wait until the end to add the face because then you have uh, more of a look at all of the space that you're working with, and it lets you kind of go know, back. But my eyes are kind of like large the way mm -hmm. I draw them, and it's usually the hair that I draw gets in the way, so then I have to color over it, and it makes me upset. <laughs> That's totally fine though. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, because of the overlapping. Maybe she just has some strands in front of her eyes. Uh, when I make a face, I make a line that goes down the middle to kind of make the nose and a tiny little U shape. And then I think I'm gonna make smaller eyes than Abby, just a different style, you could do whatever you'd like. So I'm making two little ovals on each side. And then I'm adding my little eyebrows too. And then, of course, I want her to be smiling because she's so happy. Alright. And then I put dots inside of each of her eyes to yeah. give her eyes some uh, darker parts. I like, Abby, how you um, made the eyes so big. It, that makes her look really cute. Alright, a fun thing about drawing people is after you draw them, you get to kind of decide what kind of outfit you want them to be wearing. Oh, I know. So, exactly I'm perfect. I think I'm gonna give mine um, a jacket. I don't know what I'm gonna do anymore. That's okay. Do you want to do a jacket with me? No. Okay. I need a dress. Or well, yours is already kind of wearing a, a shirt and pants. Maybe a, a turtleneck. Sort of. You need to kind of make oh, like a necklace. Um, so if I make a jacket, I make a line that curves down the middle here and a line that curves down the middle here. And then uh, I like to add the little, I, I'm wearing a coat like this right now. I like to add the little flaps that go on the front. And then I add a line right here to kind of connect it and make uh, the shirt that's underneath it. Yeah. And I'm going to add some little buttons too. Button, button, button. I do right now. That's totally good. It looks awesome. I think our next step is to color it in, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's do it. I think we're all done with our drawings. They look super cute, right, Abby? Awesome. Well, thank you for trying this out, and great job, Abby. High five. Nice work. All right.